It's here. It's finally here. The brand spanking new DaveMossTuning.com. All of Dave's videos and articles in one convenient location. Click the link below and enjoy. On a more updated motorcycle than a Honda F3, we're going to show you a much more in-depth way of how to approach bouncing your motorcycle so you can feel what it's doing. And in teaching you that technique, showing you the different ways to push on the bike that will in time refine, but we're going to have to do this in bits and pieces as we go through it because you can put a completely false read into the suspension based on inappropriate actions. Now you can balance the bike and you've got it in three contact positions. And I can't tell you how many people I've seen with stitches and written to me with complaints of a broken windshield. Pushing down biomechanically is a very strong position. One of the things that's really important to understand about hydraulics is that it is a tap. And as such, you need to know where that tap actually does something and works. I would recommend when you're starting to learn how to do this, that you actually use both. Creates oversteer, turn into the corner. Then it sits down and rubs the tire of grip. In this case, our tap works almost immediately versus that tap. And this is where people go horribly wrong. That's how you push on the bike to assess what you've got. And that's how you understand in terms of range, where do my hydraulics work for rebound? Let's see if you can determine from what you see on the bike as to which is fast and which is slow for rebound. And out of the two conditions, this one is by far the most dangerous because for you tangibly in holding the bike and feeling the bike, it's real easy to spot. To schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc., contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.